friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. I have a new wig on today. This is the True Demure in Golden Walnut by Eva Gabor. Eva Gabor, Golden Walnut. Now, this is a very similar color to the Buttered Toast. You can see it's very similar. It's not exact, but it's similar. So, those of you that are looking for a darker color, you might consider Golden Walnut, if you like it. I think it's an okay color. I prefer the Buttered Toast, but that's just me. Uh, this one is dark. It's not so much rooted, maybe a little bit rooted, but it's got lots of highlights and lowlights in it, like the uh, buttered toast but this is just a little darker version of the buttered toast and this is the true demure i've got the other one in sandy blonde that i sometimes wear so i've got this one but i thought i'd try this color because it looked to me when i ordered it like it was very close to the buttered toast to see the difference and you can see the difference at least I can see the difference. Hopefully you can see the difference. This one's a little darker. So this is the buttered toast and I'll turn around and show you the back. There it is there, the side and the back. Very pretty wig. I like the True Demure. I like this wig. I think it's very pretty, but this color is probably not my favorite. For some reason, I really like the buttered toast. I really do. This one is okay though. I like it, it's all right. Just not my favorite. All right, I'm gonna take it off and show you the inside. What I put on is the other True Demure in Sandy Blonde. This is just the way it goes. It just goes to the side, mostly goes to the side. Just getting it all in place so I don't look silly. Now, now that this is the one that we're looking at, the one in Golden Walnut. There is the lace. It's got a little lace there. It's, it's not as much as some, but you can see it's got a good amount there. But it does have a lot of open weave and all across the back and around. But you can see this is the felt. This is the lace part that makes it hot right there. So it has a little but I don't think it has enough to worry about. I think it's gonna be a perfectly fine and cool wig. Um, again, to show you the difference between the two here, they look very similar, don't they? They look really similar, but this one is actually the darker one. This one's got a lot more, I don't know, red in it, maybe? A little bit of red in it? That would be the buttered toast. This one here is the golden walnut. But this is the Eva Gabor. This one here is the Raquel Welch, just to be sure. Raquel Welch is the buttered toast. The golden walnut is Eva Gabor, but they're very close, very, very close. I'll put it back on one more time. Give me a minute to get it straight. Looks silly at first. You see, you have to understand that this hairdo is meant to be parted and worn to the side. 
that's all there is to it. And uh, anything else is going to be difficult, but it is meant to be worn that way. All right, let me get my mirror and I'll turn around again. Hopefully I've got it in the back combed down pretty much. You see these little stragglers out here? That's what I talked about yesterday. I have a very low hairline. You see that right there? And with some of these short hairdos, you really have to find a way to keep these short pieces in line. Now, I tried spraying yesterday and that did not work. If I had gel really handy, I'd take it off and use the gel, but I just don't have any hair gel at the moment that's really handy. I do have uh, adhesive spray. So, I mean, it's a roll-on. But I don't like this stuff because you have to wash your hair after every time because it, your hair is just a mess. So, there's that. Um, so, gel, I don't have any in close by me. Hairspray, um, extra bobby pins, or tape. Um wig tape specifically not scotch tape i don't think you want to be putting scotch tape on your hair back there because you pull all, all your hair out and using uh, wig tape is probably a whole lot better but anyways that's my story this is the demure the true demure by eva gabor and this one is in golden walnut so what do you think you like the buttered toast better or do you like the walnut golden walnut buttered toast raquel welsh golden walnut eva gabor so though that's the difference in color and i hope i've made that as clear as i possibly can you can see the difference here a little bit. Can you see the red? I see a little red in here. A little bit of a red, reddish tint. But it's very pretty. I love the buttered toast. Love that color. This one is okay. If you are a brunette and you really want something on the little bit on the darker side and short, this is the wig for you. It would be very nice. This one is going to part to the side, and it's not going to want to do much else but part to the side. It is not heat friendly. So, what you see is what you get. And this is just it. All right. Now, I want to talk to you today about trust. We still need to stand firm trusting the Lord. We need to trust the Lord in everything that we go through. He has everything in the palm of his hand. Everything is going to be all right. So we just need to be patient. We need to wait upon the Lord in his timing. And we will see good things happen. Um, I can tell you that Jesus can be trusted. You can trust him and put your faith in him. I know I have. So I hope that you do that today. So that's my story for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.